Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Inscription. We have a, I guess we won as our zero cost deck. So we're gonna random. We need to do one more win before we get to the challenge level of 12. After that, we should unlock the next card starting deck. And then after the next victory, well, two victories from now, we should get the final dev log unlocked for Inscription Casey's mod. Why don't we <clears throat> run a very similar build to what we had last time, I think? Squirrelfish is not that bad. The Annoying Sigil is also not that bad, but it really does depend on your starting deck. So if we roll, um, if we roll all of these and we ignore totems and the extra life, we have harder enemies, annoying sigil, bad squirrels. That gets us to challenge level 12. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Yeah, okay, let's run it. Begin run, hopefully we get a nice solid Mantis build, Mantis God deck, fingers crossed. It's the zero cost deck again. <laughs> I mean, okay, I we had a good time with it last time since I understood what I was doing in the deck. After a while, I realized what I needed was an expensive deck. Great white sharks and grizzly bears. That worked very well for us. Now I do see a Mantis. And I, and I see a dire wolf, and we can probably afford the dire wolf. We can probably afford the mantis. And skink is pretty good too. Field mice is pretty good. Wild bull is a three two. But I think we want mantis dire wolf just for the good cards and uh, the fact that that wolf is actually going to be quite strong. Um, didn't mean to do that. Although, is there anything in the painting or are we done with the painting? We're done with the painting. Uh, two, seven, three. It's just a stinking pile of meat. Still don't know if we can even open this. I I'm starting to think that maybe this stuff just is unaccessible. Um, I really want access to the, the paintbrush, but I guess we can't get that either. <clears throat> Okay, left or right. Upgrade a card, Mantis could be stronger. Uh, or get one item and then emerge. Two campfires is actually not that bad. We might even be able to remove a card. I'm gonna go left for the campfire path. But it is tempting to go right for possibly better cards. Like better merging cards. But I think, you know, upgrading the Mantis, the Dire Wolf being upgraded because it has double strike, that's pretty good. I'm not going to risk doubling down on the Mantis though. I just want the Mantis. I guess what we could do is we could go here and then put the Dire Wolf inside of the Mantis. Then the Mantis is literally a Mantis God. It has the same attacks, basically. You're not gonna like this, but I really want to put the Mantis in the corner because <laughs> it'll kill the bull in two turns, that's what I'm thinking. Um, Cause if I play the Mantis here, the wild bull will move at the end of its turn and I won't be able to hit it. I'm just gonna hit the frozen possum. If I play the Mantis here, I will kill the bull on the next turn, do two damage and then do, you know, in, well, next turn I'll liter literally get the dire wolf out, actually. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, no, actually one turn from then. But we'll start with the mantis in the corner. Hate to say it. I think that is the best play. Uh, we will get one of our other free cards. So we have a gek. Gek could kill the rabbit. I guess there's no reason not to do that. You know what we could do? We could just play the Gek here, and not only will it, uh, not only will we kill this bull, but we'll also kill the rabbit behind it as well. And then we can get the dire wolf out. It will kill the mantis. Uh, do we care? 
I'll play you here. That way we get overkill damage next turn. And then we should be fine. Clunk, clunk. AJD says, is this like a horror roguelike car game? Yes, the game is exceptionally fun. Uh, it has a great narrative element throughout it. And I would say you should check out the playlist of this going up on YouTube because it's a very fun game. And this mode, Casey's Mod, is a expansion of Act One in the game. Fully flushes out the card experience. Rainbow Zombie Man says, I know you said to check out Inscription on YouTube. I'm already behind in Cobalt Core and Tiny Rogues. That's fair. Those are very good games. I hope you enjoy those ones too. I took a bug. It gave me an ant. It's fine. Plus two health. So we could try to get rid of a creature or we could try and just buff something like an ant. We could buff the direwolf. We could buff the mantis so that it can actually take a hit and then live. You know what? Two, three mantis is pretty good. And I don't think we try to use removal. I think we just keep the mantis. If we get direwolf, we're happy. If we get mantis, we're happy. And if we put direwolf and mantis, we're super happy. And then we dupe mantis, and then we have infinite mantises, and then we merge the mantises, and then we have just the strongest deck of all freaking time. In fact, this is a turn where we can literally play the mantis and it won't even die. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, there's a little bit of a trick we can employ here. If we play the mantis in this position, the rabbit will never be able to kill me and will kill both elks on the next turn. What's with the spider? The spider is just walking the field. Don't worry about the spider. He's fine. He's just having a good day. We'll play uh, Gek just to play it. This is a, a fight where the totem is actually beneficial for me. It's making my job easier. Um, I do not think we can overkill though. I'm gonna use the pliers. Oh, close your eyes and ears. <laughs> Freeze up an item slot in case we need to pick something else up. Pick something else up later. How many teeth do we have? Six. It's not enough for... <sighs> it's not enough for pelts, I think. I'm just gonna take a card. Wild Bull, Dire Wolf Pup, Tadpole. We could take a second Tadpole, but... Dude, Dire Wolf Pup. Real reason, reason Abe's gonna drop this game once he's done is so that he doesn't have to use the pliers ever again, says Connie. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna say no to that. That's, you know, possibly true. We want uh, bugs, I think. We have a mantis and a flying ant. We also have two wolves and two lizards, but the Gek and the Tadpole are here mostly for sacrificing. So yeah, we'll take bugs and hope we get like, I don't know, bug bifurcation next turn. In fact, we could go up here and get a, a couple of totems. Might be worth it. Raven egg. Okay, we're gonna murder those birds. Should have played the tadpole too, I think. Well, the raven would have done one damage, so maybe not. You're gonna do one damage? That's not a big problem. Ah, you're dead, never mind. Don't don't even worry about it. Uh Dude, I really, like, I wanna put Dire Wolf Pup in the Mantis, I think, right? Next turn, it's gonna get stronger. Although Dire Wolf in the Mantis means it's a turn one KO. And it literally turns it into a Mantis God. We have to do that. We have to make a Mantis God. 
And Black Goat kind of synergizes with the idea of getting expensive cards. I will take that. I would, and you know what? Direwolf Pup is basically a direwolf, so we don't need both of them in the deck. We can make a Mantis God. So now that attacks three times, we love to see it. Imagine if Mantis turned into an actual Mantis God if you did this. I'm wondering, this is fun. I'm wondering, because it's infinite ants. I'm wondering if we could actually make the Mantis turn into a Mantis God when it upgrades through the, uh, the the fledgling sigil, but I don't know if that's the case. Cause some some cards have unique upgrades when they be become fledglings, or rather when they upgrade from Fred from fledglings. So all of our bugs will create bugs, which is very good for this because it means that we can just have like an infinite number of units come out. Problem right now is that we actually do need to play the Mantis to wipe the board. Kinda hate to do it, but I think it is very important. We have other cards in the deck we can use for the second phase of the fight. I think we just need to make sure that we wipe the board. And we get ants, and the ants will create ants, and we're actually very happy to see that. I mean, we can just, we can have the Gek kill the Leaping Trap. We don't care about that at all. We can have the, This might seem a little weird, but this actually makes a lot of sense to me. And the ants create ants, create ants. We have an ant build. <laughs> we know what we're doing here today. So the mant the reason why I played the ant on the left is that now the mantis will kill the bullfrog and kill the leaping trap. We love to see it. Actually, Tadpole can at least become a unit that can do damage. Wait, the Mantis is gonna live! I forgot! When the, the thing can't hit you, the Mantis just lives forever. We're so good at this game. One. It is a banger track. I f yeah, I forgot that the the traps don't kill the unit that killed the trap. The traps kill whatever's in front of the trap. And in our, <laughs> thank you. In our situation, that ended up just being nothing. All right, I don't really have a lot of uh, capabilities of playing too many units here, but I guess what I can do is summon an ant, which summons an ant, which summons an ant, which summons an ant, which summons an ant. Yo, I've got a good feeling about this deck. This deck. Ant build. Ants and bees, man. Ants and bees and ants and bees and ants and bees and this not so much. What what? Those creatures also provide bones when perishing. I mean, it's the cheapest card. I think we need another one cost, but not a big fan.
So we could go for an upgraded card and refill our backpack. I kind of like that actually. As for the unit merging, uh, we could merge, you know, these units and try to use that as card removal, but I like them being free sacrifices. Dire Wolf Pup could go inside of something. The Black Goat could go inside of something, but not really, uh, like I don't really see much that it can go inside of. We don't really have a good merge. We could get a card and merge, but I gotta admit, Left Path interests me. We get an upgraded card, hopefully. We could take Sigil easily and uh, refill our backpack, have a tough fight, get an expensive card, move up. I'm gonna go left. Getting upgraded cards is very, very helpful in a run. We didn't get sigils, unfortunately. Uh, our units are not that healthy. They're not that expensive, and we have no bone cost. So this is going to be a... Like, we literally can't do this one. If we draw a Dire Wolf Pup and two other cards, we can theoretically do this one, but this is probably just gonna be a wasted node. You know, we, we got it! <laughs> I was gonna say, even if we don't get a card, it is effectively card removal by not adding a card, but we got very lucky from this. My God. So Ringworm is bifurcated and gives us a rabbit? Uh, Mud Turtle doesn't seem like a very synergistical buff with Brood Parasite. Beaver is a nice blocker. Dams which are made of stone and the beaver is bifurcated. Not particularly amazing, but AJD asks, any games are you looking forward to getting your hands on Abe? I've already picked up a game recently that I have uh, been excited to get my hands on. Helldivers has been absurdly amazing fun. I've been enjoying that game a lot. As for in the future, you know, I'm gonna be, be definitely playing the Elden Ring uh, DLC when it comes out. And assuming that my stream machine computer gets set up correctly and I can stream to it correctly, uh, I would love to play the Dead Space remake and Callisto Protocol, which I've been meaning to do and haven't done yet. Because I needed to effectively upgrade something about my streaming setup to make it happen. So that might be fun to check out. Dude, I think Beaver as a blocker is okay. Connie says, I'm in the middle of a Linux install, so I can try to run Helldivers without the anti-cheat. Good luck. <laughs> Goat, boulder, and squirrel. We already have a squirrel, give me a boulder. A boulder. But I am, I'm not gonna prevent my ants from making ants. That's just too good. Oh, I love getting the mantis, man. Pronghorn uh, might not be killable next turn, but I don't think you're gonna be killing my mantis. And uh, I mean, we could just play an ant, I guess. Play you over there, why not? We get another ant. I'll play you next turn. Never mind, you're dead, because we have turn one lethal when we draw the mantis. That's so good. I need uh, I need the card duplicator so I can just make another mantis. I want an expensive card. I don't like Moose Buck though. I think it's not good enough stats. AJD says, all I heard about Helldivers is the cue to log in. They fixed that problem, AJD. It is now a good game, <laughs> and I would recommend it. I was playing the other day with, uh, with friends, and there was no login at all. It just worked. So yeah, I would recommend. Connie says, gaming is pretty straightforward nowadays on Linux. I don't know about that. All I know is that 
from all I remember is that it kind of sucks because the games are hard to hard to run properly, but maybe that's, you know, all been fixed. Not the ideal draw. I could get a turn one lethal with the squirrel and we have a backpack coming up, so I'm just gonna do this. We overkill him pretty nicely too. No duplicator, but another one of those coming up. Uh, turtle, you and elk. Man, I'm not loving these cards, but I'll take a turtle for blocking. There's a merger coming up too. Goat, boulder, or tooth. Give me a boulder. Ooh, two merging. I like that for removal purposes. S. Joe, welcome. Some games outside of Steam can ban you for running on Linux as they don't want you bypassing anti-cheat even for a real reason. Fortnite and Valorant being an example. I haven't heard that myself, but I haven't followed it, followed any news at all, so I don't know. Okay. I think we're gonna play a beaver. We're gonna play it right here, because this kills the, lovely, this kills the dire wolf pup next turn. Black goat. I'm just gonna leave the porcupine for a minute. Dire wolf pup. Okay. Now, we'll get the pup out. I think I'll use one of my boulders now. Should have probably done it earlier, but I think I'm okay. I don't want this tree to be destroyed. All we gotta do is wait for our, our wolf and we've already won. Tony says, yeah, I get that for competitive games. Is Fortnite really competitive? <laughs> there's not, it's not like there's a league. Kin, blood, and sigils. I know what I'm taking. Oh look, we have a beaver. If only it applied the totem to the flying ant. Okay, moose buck. With a second moose buck, a 614 might be worth playing for three energy. And we can very easily uh, merge that coming up. Although it's the right path. Left path is card merging. What would we merge? Uh, dire wolf in a mud turtle? I don't know, 614 is worth playing for three. Might just go for Moose Buck. Raven Egg gives us more ants, but we don't need that. Bullfrog blocks, but also hides and also is immune to death touch. Nah, give me a Moose Buck. And instead of going left, we're gonna upgrade a card and then hit up the merging for the Mooseys. The Moosey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to buff up this mantis. Boom, boom, boom. Dear Nunu, welcome, how are you doing today? What's going on? There you go, that's a solid card. A 614 can one-shot anything. I'm okay, and you? Uh, I'm doing all right. I've got a bit of a headache. 
The caffeine is slowly hitting the bloodstream though, I'm feeling better, moment by moment. And we're having a very good run in uh, Inscription. We might be able to actually get through this run and achieves great success. Got a lot of bones. Caffeine and Tylenol is a great combo. I mean, caffeine literally makes the Tylenol more effective. Like, it helps to to improve the oh, the the capability of it to actually provide pain relief. I think. I need a card. I need a mantis. I could play raccoon, but I got a rabbit instead. Rabbit raccoon? Mud turtle's gonna die to the wolf. So I think I mean this oh my god this is actually a pretty good turn I think kills the wolf cub and the wolf in two turns the wolf won't do any damage because it's just gonna hit the dam actually it might hit once but I think this is still good we're not doing anything to the pack mule no, that's fine Tadpole can just go out and upgrade. Only need to hit for one more. Eh, not quite there, but almost. I uh, got a goat. Hmm. Beaver will kill the wolf, so I'm I'm tempted to just stall again. Next turn, I can play like a raccoon if I need to. Actually, we could get the uh, the big boy out, but I want that to happen on phase two because it's a one turn KO. I just want Mantis, there you go, there's my Mantis God. Mantis won't kill the pack mule though. But then again, like, we're doing all right. Oh yeah, I forgot about the ant. <laughs> okay, we will get the pack mule actually, because that bought us a turn. Don't know what that was. Dagnabbit! I think the game is a little bit loud because, again, when I moved my computer parts over, Windows was like, hey, you wanna use your monitor for all of your uh, audio needs? And now it just completely eliminated all of my audio settings. I gotta restart all my audio settings from scratch. Like a jerk. Hey, the Nor, welcome. Sup dudes and dudettes and whatever Abe is. I am a machine. Ooh. Interesting card. We gotta go shark, though. Mm, that's a very interesting card, though. It's not a very good card. I'll take the shark. If you haven't seen that card before, don't worry about it. <laughs> Connie says, I didn't know that could appear in... Casey's mod has got it going on. It's a pretty good card. So there's a merge here, but there's removal here. Two upgraded card additions is pretty good though. Uh, and there's a campfire. 
I think I'm, I'm much more interested in going for the unique card additions because they are upgraded and we can do some merging. So we could get rid of like Mud Turtle, put that on the Dire Wolf Pup so we can tank a shot. You know, feel like that's pretty okay. Let's see what we get. And then hope that there's some like card duplicator up here on the left. That would be ideal. Oh, there's my beaver. Lol. A beehive that draws cards and completely eliminates the other side of the board. Oh yeah, there's also a stinky grizzly, but I think we gotta get beehive with the magnifying glass. That's very good. Very good indeed. I will take flight. Well, next turn I can get Moose Buck. We're almost dead because we're almost taking lethal damage, but I can actually do quite a bit of damage on this turn myself. So he's dead next turn. I think. He might be dead next turn. Disabling the board is counterproductive with Beehive though. Beehive, uh, it only gives us it's gonna give us one B and then that's it. Like that's totally fine. We like we have to take a card. I wanna get the Mantis. Mantis and Moosebuck are like my two top tier plays. By the way, I'm pretty sure we have just won. No, uh, no card duplicator so far, but maybe later. I mean, if we draw Moose Buck, we'll get the health. <laughs> we have to draw Mantis or Beaver to get the health here. We don't have Bone. We could go for Kin, but we don't have a lot of matching pairs, but let's, uh, I mean, Kin is like a. You, you gotta you gotta think statistically. The first card that you draw doesn't affect the outcome. It's only the subsequent cards. Well, as long as the first card you draw has a type. Um, I'm gonna go health though. If we draw one of three cards, we win. Not it. Not it. Not it. All right, we failed. But also, untyped, elk lizard. So we would have failed anyways. All right, what do we dump? I think... So ants do not get the value of whatever's on the card, which I think is garbage, but we can add mud turtle to, I think, dire wolf. Make it survive a little bit more reliably. That way it can upgrade to a, an adult puppy. Oh. I mean, thank you? Dun dun. I'm gonna play the boulder here because I'm I'm a little worried about the fact that we've got all these ants and soon to be mantises too. Soon to be one mantis, I suppose. I 
Eh, why not, right? Have you unlocked all the challenges? There's one more in inscription. There's one more deck I need to unlock as well. Hopefully we'll get there. Beehive. Oh, beehive. I mean, I, I know what we want. We just want to get the mantis, so I will. Play you here, we'll get a B next turn. We'll grab our mantis. And we have an ant. Uh, I think we just wanna pass? I wanna get a free card out of this. We're only taking one damage anyways. There you go. Also, we'll get an ant out of this card. And then we will draw. We will play a mantis, and I'll play you over here. You can tank all those shots. I will play a... Might as well play a bee, because it'll just go over the tree. Hit, hit, hit. We're not overkilling yet. Last one's fun, says the Nora. You said that last time. <laughs> Mason, welcome. How are you doing today? Hmm. We're doing two damage here. We're gonna, we're gonna have exact lethal. Well, you know, whatever. Actually, no, we're not gonna have exact lethal. We're not doing any damage. Ooh, we're gonna have super, Mantis Gods? We're gonna have super lethal. I'll keep saying it until you get it, says the Noor. Well, that should be hopefully now. Like, this run is very good. I think we can do a mealworm. I think that's an easy, easy addition. Um. Woo! Yo. Ants giving ants or ants giving us card selection? Ooh. Mealworm, Beehive, Flying Ant, Mantis. Those four cards will give me whatever draw I want. Man, that is real good. And then... We don't need ants, 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 ants. Like, we have enough units in the deck at this point. So, like, I, I think this is what we want. We want card draw. There are have been situations where we've one turn KO'd thanks to the ants, but now we just play one and we get our entire deck out, you know? Yo. Also, this is the play. The dire wolf. And we're even gonna kill the adder behind him. Look at that, look at that. No more ants. We're gonna have some ants in the deck. Oh. There might be fewer ants, but there will still be ants. There will still be ants. That gave me a B? <laughs> okay. I, I didn't think it would give me a B. That's pretty funny.
card and merging. Hmm. I think card and merging is fine. Because it's card addition and then card removal, and which makes the cards better. Direwolf pups also give you bones even on the opposite side. That one I haven't noticed, but I, I believe it. Ooh, yo, tadpole on black goat. Meal goat or goat worm. That is also a really good get because then we'll get, uh, I don't know which direction we would do it, but we would get some health on the sack unit. But also tadpole on the black goat would mean that it stays alive. But we don't need it, the black goat to be played is the thing. Here's the thing, it's a free card, which means we can play other cards. Isn't goat into tadpole better? Not, as, not necessarily. Um, if we draw black goat on turn one, how do you play it? You play a squirrel. You're guaranteed to have a squirrel on turn one. So you can play black goat on turn one. You can't necessarily play a mealworm on turn one because you only get zero to one bones, depending on if you have the sacrifice out, um, the boon of the bone lord. So if we draw mealworm on turn one, we might not be able to play it without having units go out, die, and be sacrificed. Black goat, for one squirrel, you get any unit on the board with this as well. I kind of like that better because it's m way more consistent than making sure that you have enough bones to play the mealworm. It's my like personal take on it anyways. I, I like that, I think. Like I'm willing to pay one squirrel and black goat for like a great white or something. We also do get more stats doing it the other direc direction, but I, I like this. AJD, have a good night. See you later. And we, oh. and we love this guy, of course, because Mantis God. Why are you so loud? You made it stronger. Thank you. Now we have a Super Mantis God that will also draw another card in the deck if we draw it. All right, Angler really should not be a problem. We can use the uh, the flight to get around the bait buckets if we have to. We drew the turn one lethal mantis and the other turn one lethal mantis. <laughs> All right, well. Liter literally, we've won. I don't even have to think about it and we've won. This is hilarious. <laughs> there we go. We've done it. Go fish. Go fish. Like this, this doesn't matter. You're dead, my dude. <laughs> Completely just wiped the board with him. That's so good. I don't know. Can I get a? Can I get an ant out? Dude, we can play the great white. Watch this. You play the ant, you draw your black goat, you play the black goat, you sack it for the great white. There's an extra three damage on the board. Should have played the moose buck, it's more damage. Turn 150 teeth mantis. <laughs> yeah. That was like 15 teeth right there. Ah.
Connie says, one of these days he'll remove the sigils instead. My sigils? As if you'll ever use the teeth. That's fair. I don't use the teeth often because I don't like teeth. Because I don't want to add, like, six pelts and then add six cards three floors, like, three bosses from now. Because sometimes it takes a long time before you can actually add anything to your deck. Yeah, we'll go, uh, we'll go merging. We'll put, uh, I don't know, Tadpole in a... I don't know, raccoon. We'll make the we'll make the shark fly. That's what we'll do. Yeah, like not really anything else to do. This does cost us one ant, actually, which is probably bad, because we want to have ants being drawn so we can draw specific cards in the deck, but I don't know, a flying shark is kind of nice, but I guess we have flight. Why am I even worried? I can draw Mantis God on turn one. I have the, the, the best item for this game. We also just drew it. We win. Alright, play this. Is this game supposed to be hard or something? Cause like, it doesn't seem very hard. This is like, actually the easy- Oh, I can't play this. This is actually like the easiest run of all time. Oh no, not Sean. Whatever will I do? Sean, help me, Sean. Nambi says hydrate. Uh, does coffee count as hydration? I still have one trick up my sleeve. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> it's dead next turn. <laughs> Challenge mode more difficult. What happened? I don't think anything happened. My Mantis did get pushed to the side, so it's a little bit uh, harder to utilize, I suppose. I don't know, can I play anything? Oh. Connie says, why is the moon so bad? I, I've said it previously, the moon has never been a problem. <laughs> Corner Mantis. The moon, how, there were no misplays. I'm gonna tell you that. Uh, the moon has never been a consideration. It is never factored in at all, I don't think. Because if you can kill the enemies leading up to the moon, you can probably kill the moon unless you are completely out of cards, in which case it would be a problem. But I've never had that happen. Data corrupted. For any quality concerns, please contact Kaminsky Data Storage MFG. Oh, what a what an entry. <laughs> Curious egg. Hatches when drawn if the numbers one to five are represented in the health of creatures in your deck and in their power, and if there is a creature of each tribe in your deck. Pardon? Curious Egg hatches when drawn if the numbers one to five are represented in the health of creatures in your deck and power, and there's a creature of each tribe in your deck. It seems annoying as hell but also Amalgam would handle the second or the third part. One through five, that's very hard to enable, especially because the campfire that buffs health buffs it by two. So it's not like you could turn a three into a four. You'd have to find a card that has four health. What card is four health? Beaver, uh, mole. You'd have to have a one HP creature, which this counts, a 2 HP, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 1 damage, a 2 damage, a 3, a 4, a 5. 
This is this is probably cool, but probably bad. Is there a five health card? I mean, I was actually thinking about this. Dire Wolf is a five health card. Dire Dire Wolf Pup is a one health card, but wouldn't count for five because Dire Wolf isn't in your deck. What? A starter deck of three garbage eggs. What? At, what? This seems terrible. <laughs> Grizzlies appeared during the first three boss battles plus 50 challenge points. Grizzly bosses. No? <laughs> that seems terrifying. What? So th this deck seems terrible. And then also, yes, it's 50 challenge points, but Grizzlies. I, I think this is the thing where uh, when you try, when, if you are very good at the game and you beat the game faster than you're supposed to in Act 1, Leshy's like, no, 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 you're not supposed to be able to win this. You need to die to get lore. And then he k throws Grizzlies at you. Uh, but this seems horrifyingly difficult. And the card of the eggs seems very bad. But um, I'll try to run the deck. We'll see what happens. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch if you want to go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Inscription.